Alright guys, as you can see, I've made some preparations. I've got it all traced out, ready to go, start cutting. Um, I'll catch up to you as soon as that all that's done. See you in a while. Alright guys, as you can see, I got started on the, started on the, the beveling part. So, that is a uh, 701, just so you know. My next project part I'll be working on is the uh, pedals themselves and the cedar. Um, the bevels inside the uh, pedals are a P. Hold on, there it is. 217 and it's, the hardest part is going to be getting in some of these tighter areas with the 701 and then I got some decorative cuts to make outside of the uh, pattern itself so when I get to the point of making the decorative cuts I will loop you all back in. See you then. Alright guys, as you can see, I finished up most of the major work. Now it's just time for the uh, decorative cuts. And since I've not shown anybody how to do that. Oh, I missed a spot before I do make any make cuts. Let's do some adjusting here. As you see, I'm sliding this back and forth over what I've done. And that's to get rid of any unwanted ridges. Alright, now for some decorative cuts. Knees. Go with the direction of the flower. That's to give some texturing. To the petals. As the leather dries, it will shrink just a little bit. And those cuts will open up. Oh, don't mind my phone. I'm having a conversation with Mr. Yamez. I don't know if you can see them, but I am going to zoom in as much as I possibly can so you can see them. Uh, on these two petals here are where I've made my decorative cuts. 
and I've still got several more to go. Oh, Lordy. Dry. 
All right, you get the idea of what I'm doing here, so I'll catch up to you when I'm done with it. All right, guys, as you can see, all the uh, pretty little cuts are done. So now I am going to do some staining and painting. I'm thinking I'm going to make this look very close to what I made Penny's look apron look like. So uh, I'll see what I can do about that, and I'll see you when it's done. Alright, as you can see, it looks pretty damn close to what I did for Penny's apron. <coughs> um, now I'm going to talk about some other stuff here. Let me adjust the camera. Alright, here's what I got going on. I'm at 46 subscribers, I believe. Yep, I'm at 46 subscribers. So, four more subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway. For my very first giveaway, I will be doing a little keepsake box. And I will do a video on that as well. I only need four more subscribers to get that... For that giveaway. When I have my 50 subscribers, I will uh, put up a quick video stating hey I have 50 subscriber subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway whoever replies to this giveaway will be put in for that and then I will put your names into a random randomizer and let it pull a name and whoever wins the box wins the box I will need your name address all that pertinent information and then I will ship it out to you on the first of the month also I do have a patreon page uh, my patreon page is for Randy Mills so if you can please visit it if not don't worry about it thank you for joining me on my journey to and better myself and my crafts um, also I have chosen a forge off Amazon with that I will be ordering it is a two burner forge I will also be ordering a pair of flat nose tongs with it so my roommate don't cook his hand but anyway thanks for joining me and I hope to see you guys next time